Now connected to Galaxy A52 5G. Yeah, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy the one and only guy trolling, gold showing, showboating. I don't know what I'm saying, but <laughs> whatever, it is your boy J Summer Twitch TV in the cut. Your fault yeah damn <laughs> your host, commentator, and founder of ICW and we are back with a whole new episode of Monday Night Turmoil, ladies and gentlemen. It is Death defying, electrifying, styling, profiling. It's a lot of stuff going on down, and we are about to get into it tonight. We are going to get started. We are not wasting any time. Hey, yo, the boy Dabi. What's the word, OG? Hope you're doing well, boy. You know what time it is. It's turmoil time, boy. We about to get lit like... We about to, the fuck? I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm tired, bro. Yes, it is. Monday nights is usually the nights where it's about to go down. But, alright, we're going to start things off with the first match our Monday match. <laughs> I'm dead. All right, we're going to start things off with the first match. It is Mars taking on Star in a one-on-one -on -one bout. Monday Mayhem. I forgot about that. Monday Mayhem. Yeah, bro, I forgot. You do stream every Monday night. She has not let up yet. It is definitely about to be her time, and she is on that grind to reach it, and she is about to take that chance. Hey, thank you, ASAP. I always appreciate you, Dobby. You bro, bro. I appreciate you so much. in over a couple of good weeks but we are definitely about to see what happens when you mess with the star of the show ha get it Like the match is about to get started. You gotta let me call so you uh, wanna be strong. Oh, yeah, bro, I got you. You wanna be a commentator? You let me know, bro, and I got you.
Ooh. Sorry about that. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, try to go for another one. Sorry, but counter. Oop. Ooh, one. She hit her with a suplex. She got that second one. Is the third one about to happen? Your Profecta suplex. Ooh, and a frog splash. And a kick out at two by Star. Ooh. Just use him and don't mess around. Ooh, sent to the outside. Oh, now she's attacking that leg. Not a cat fight. <laughs> what is going on, Oreo Zella? How are you? I hope you're having a lit Monday night. Oh. Oh, trying to send her to the stairs. It did not work. Oh. Looks like he goes back inside the room. Oh. Ooh, start using the ropes to her advantage. But my ooh. That's good, bro. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm sorry, what are your pronouns before I start assuming shit? I'm sorry. I do that most of the time. Bulldog right in the middle. Oh, and a counter by Mars. Counts at seven. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not, hey, yo. Now she threw her back outside the ring. Deadly kick. A counter by Mars. Now she hits over the own versatile combo. Ooh! The knee to the face. Another trifecta suplex. Ooh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> hey, yo. You gotta chill, man. You gotta chill. Pin them on the outside. Three. Four. Ooh, the close line.
Throws up back on the inside. And oh. Saturn's rings. One, two, and a kick out at two. I know you good, Ace up. Does he have another move plan? Oh. Ooh, the backstabber. Oh. This has got a submission name ready for rope break. Star able to counter. And the ooh shooting star straight to the eye. One, two, and a kick out at two. Mars is still. Ooh. Try to set her up, but it backfires. Jesus. Oh, and she got it in. Gravitational pull. And Star taps out. Mars wins her third match in a row. I hate you, Asa. <laughs> Just now saw that. Okay. Full and epic match that was definitely one of the greatest matchups I've seen by women so far. It was good, everybody. My name, Godfather Terry. I pimp cows for a living. <laughs> We're about to go ahead and move on to the next matchup. We got Death itself. I don't know why he dressed as a military man, but he's a military man apparently. So it'll be Death taking on the Southern Warrior Ian. In a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Def did great in his first debut match against Bruce Jackson. So he's about to take on another underdog in our roster. And I'll be trying to speak in this guy, Father Terry, the entire match. I know I'm going to hate it, but hey, fuck it. Absolutely phenomenal in his debut last match. So we'll see what happens here tonight when he takes on somebody from the underground himself. Death has no maidens. I'm rolling. <laughs> and his opponent from New York, weighing in at 228 pounds, Ian. One of my favorite underrated stars right here. Ian always tries to put himself above others. And he never gives up at all. That's why he took John Cena's handkerchief, and I don't know why he kept that bitch ever since.
death. We got here. Death already starting off with some quick attacks. And then there's the alligator roll. Trying to drive some of that strength out of here. Ooh. Straight to the top of it. Wait a minute. Goji, is that you? <laughs> Goji, is that you, bro? <laughs> I had to think about it for a minute. I'm like, Oreo Zillow, did I just thought? Yeah. Go I know that's you. <laughs> oh. Oh, swept on my feet. I knew it was you. I just had to think. I was like, wait a minute. He said my name. That's Goji. <laughs> Ian, ooh, trying to go for a power bomb, but Death able to counter. Ooh, trying to go for the trouble in paradise, it did not work for him. You know, I don't know what Ian was trying to do, but ooh, a power, a German suplex instead. Ooh. Now he's got him in a cross-face submission. And whoop. Nope, looks like death stuck right there. Don't know what to do. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, I don't know why he's doing that. It's a missile drop kick. I don't have any idea what he's trying to go for, but I guess it didn't work. Ooh. 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 Oh my god, that combination. And it's a rope break. Ooh, counted by death. Oh! And the kick out at two. Ian's still alive. Is he gonna hit it? And he go for it. Military bomb. A military grenade. And Death picks up the victory. His second win in a row. He's definitely defying all odds, taking on all newcomers. Death definitely looking amazing out here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the next matchup. It is a tag team match between the Bonner Bros and Kit Kat and Shadow.
I know Kit Kat and Shadow are my boys. They Sama gang, but ever since me and Phantom took on that villain arc, we have became new different personas, so we became an official tag team. So they have been traded. And they'll be moving forward to Wednesday. So instead, we'll give them a match here tonight. Because the Bonham Bros are returning. So we'll give them a match instead. So yeah. And to see if they will actually work out as a tag team. Bonner Bros have never won a tag team championship ever since they've been a part of ICW. But they have become the most underrated tag team of all time, trying to search a way to find a shot at the tag team titles. Both of them have went on separate journeys with different tag teams, with Shadow being a part of his god brother's team, Phantom, and with Kit Kat being a part of my team, they have both won the tag team titles before, even with Shadow being the first ever world tag team champion alongside Phantom. But these two have now became a new team and now I'm trying to look to see if they can tear this tag team division together. Tolling kick at off the match. Ooh. 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 Ooh, a diving crossbody by Tolling. Ooh. Ooh, going haymakers. And a kick to the back. Another one. I'm going straight for the arm again. 
Now he's going for a pin. Kick out. Nah, thank you for the alert. I appreciate it. <laughs> Ooh, reverse by Kit Kat. Nope. Reverse by Tyler. Oh, he's just downright ruthless on this man. Oh. Ooh, reversed into a DDT. On the clothesline. Now top rope. And an elbow drop. Send him into the corner. Counter. Ooh, a drop kick. Kick had able to counter. And, oh. Oh, can he get it? Future shock. DDT by Kit Kat. And a kick out at two. He's got the submission locked in on him. Rope break. And here he comes, Shadow. Shadow tried to go for a combo, it did not work. And a twist of fate. And here's the tag to Zabo. Zabo definitely the powerhouse of this team. Let's see what he does against a tactician such as Shadow. And, ooh, trying to go for a couple punches, but Shadow able to counter. That's why he is called the tactician of the Sama Gang. He knows everything that is going his way most of the time. Ooh, except for that punch. Mm, is he gonna send him in the corner? Oh, Shadow able to get to him. Oh. Ooh, a counter by Zayda. Well, now just choking the life out of Shadow. Ooh, counter. Ooh, he's going all in. Ooh, Kit Kat. Kit Kat, the semi powerhouse in this matchup. He's the biggest cruiserweight for everybody. Ooh. Is now stomping the life out of Zabo right now. Oh. Oh, it looks like Kit Kat might have it. Does he have a setup? Is he gonna hit it? Claymore! And a kick out at two. Gonna go for a knee and it dodges. And the running knee. German suplex. Tyler tagged into this matchup now. He went for another diving crossbody. And now he's going straight back up to the top rope. And now Shadow is officially tagged into this matchup. Ooh, they're going counter for counter. Oh, and now Zabo has been tagged in. Double team maneuver. Going straight for the arm. Counter by Shadow. Ooh. Going straight for the arm again. Kick out at two.
Uh oh. Oh. Paulo was able to break up that pin. And he is now sent to the outside. And now he has his attention straight on Zabo. Can he hit it? He almost hit the diving leg drop. It did not connect. But he has a Russian leg sweep. Tyler breaks up the pin yet again. Tyler sent back to the outside. And Kit Kat now just ooh, disrespecting the table. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, atomic drop. that blood rushing straight to the head oh my goodness A suplex I like that submission but it's a rope break oh oh he's got it can he get it pedagogy that's it and it's a rope break again Bounce his head off the turnbuckle. Shoulder tackles. Oh my goodness. He's able not letting up on Kit Kat right now. He goes back for the pin. And Shadow able to break up the pin with a kick to the head. Oh, and he hits with a net breaker. Shadow still able to get back up, however. And a back suplex. DDT and the head is busted open. And now he's got that submission knocked in. It's a rope break, however. Straight to the top rope. A diving leg drop. And a, ooh, it was so close to three. He needs a claymore on Tyler. Tyler is sent straight to the outside. And, oh, can he hit it? He tried to hit that future shock DDT. Did Zabo able to counter it? And a spine buster, however, is counted. And it's a rope break. These teams could go on forever during this time. Oh my goodness. Only hits last low's kiss. And now tags in shadow. And oh, eat the feet. And Kit Kat and Shadow able to win. Here are your winners. They can work well as a tag team. Let's hope the near future for the tag team division. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now at the number one contenders matchup for the ICW Women's Championship. It is Darth Cater taking on T-Raw Dubs. The winner of this match will go on to face Undead for the Women's Championship. Now, 
this is gonna be an ultimatum right now in between undead Kate is her tag team partner and women's tag team champion T-Raw is her cousin so whoever wins this match has to go up against family somewhat and hmm, in my honest opinion I think T-Raw should be the one to win this matchup because if Kate does win that means that the two tag team partners and tag team champions will have to go up against each other Two-time women's champ, women's tag team champion. <laughs> Almost messed that up. One being her part, being T. Ross' partner, and now this time Undead's partner. So she has history with both women. So we'll see how that goes. But I have no clue what's gonna go in this matchup. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, T-Rex T-Raw has been trying to find her way into the Women's Championship picture. And she will try anything to get there. Even take on a former tag partner and former Women's Tag Team Champion. So it will definitely be in t Raw's favor if she can win this match and earn herself a title shot against Undead again. But then again, you may never know what will happen in most of these matchups. Alright, we have Kate and we have t Raw. Winner of this match receives a title opportunity. Ooh, Kate starting off with a couple swings. T. Raw able to counter. But Kate able to find a way through. Ooh, that knee to the face so deadly. And she hits it again for safe measure. Ooh, the kick out at one. Thought she had it one. Ooh, T. Raw able to counter. Great combination. Ooh, that kick to the stomach. Oh, K able to counter. Ooh, she's kicking the life out of her arm right now. Oh, there goes T-Raw able to counter that. Oh. Oh, K able to find a way out. She goes for another pin. And it's a rope break. Foot was on the rope. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Those punches to the gut. Ooh, knee to the face. She was such devastating knee strikes. And now we're going to the top rope. She hits a splash. Hmm. Oh, she's got those kicks again. And a clothesline. She goes for the pin. And a kick out at two. Trying to go for a submission maneuver. T. Raw able to counter it. 
Oh. He hit Snake Eyes in the corner. Ooh, that knee. This match probably has been one-sided this entire time. Oh, t Ron able to counter. She might actually have some fight. Ooh, never mind. Oh, it down. All right. Ooh, try to... Ooh, that was close, though. Almost hit her knee. And a spine buster. Ooh, a counter by t Ron. Ooh! And a kick out at two, Kate's still alive somehow. Oh, did you hit it? The purple thunder bomb. And now going top rope. Hit that elbow drop straight on the back. Ooh, another spawn buster. Ooh, hurting that leg. I don't know what Kate's trying to do, but Taylor is already slowly getting up. Oops, I'm turning in the corner. Ooh, and a little kick. Straight to the face. One, two, and T-Rock picks up the win. It'll be Cousin versus Cousin 2 for the championship. Actually pretty good and it's speaking of the women's champion she has a match tonight against a returning women's superstar from the undercard it is Celeste we'll see who she has against the champion I actually had no plan to put this match in the car but I'm glad I did because I'm going to have to go take a little break to the bathroom real quick. So, hi, hi, Erica. How are you doing? I hope you're having a lovely Monday night. Uh, I am going to go take a break to the bathroom real quick. I will be right back. I probably won't be back until, I um, probably won't be back until the start of the match. Who knows? But, uh, but if I do, I'm probably going to commentate. But if I'm back by the end of the match... I'll still commentate the rest of the other matches. I don't know how long I'm going to be in the bathroom. That's all I'm going to say. But I hope you guys do find this match entertaining. And I will be right back.
I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I have to wait a couple more minutes because my sister is still in the freaking bathroom. Yes, work fucking kills. God. That shit is not a fucking plan to walk in the park. Alright, we got Undead, we got Celeste. I'm back, but I ain't gonna be here for long. Alright. Ooh, an elbow to the face by Celeste. No. She, ooh, she is choking the life out of her in that corner. Oh, oh, dude, pounding on with elbows. A little ground and pound technique from Celeste. Ooh, Jesus, such disrespect. Ooh. Send him to the corner. Oh, I'm dead with a counter. to the face. Top rope. Oh, 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 belly to belly. Jesus. So let's have the counter. Oh. Ooh. One. Two. And a kick out at two. Now, oh, trying to go for a submission maneuver, but countered. Ooh. Ooh, that was beautiful. She ain't done. She got another one. Ooh. And more ground and pound from Celeste. Try to go for a German suplex, but it was countered by Celeste. 
another counter. Belly to belly. And a kick to the face. Hits a reversal. Ooh. What? Bro, close my door. What are you doing? Ooh. And the third German suplex. We got a pin. One. Two. And a kick out at two. I'm dead arguing with the ref like she always does. She angry for no reason. <laughs> oh, she got the Kamura lock. Kamura lock locked in. Kamura lock locked in. And Celeste taps out. And Undead, the champion, picks up the win in this matchup. Definitely a strong showing from Celeste, but UDK play no games. That's one up on the board. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the next matchup. It is Leon taking on the ICW United States Champion Spirit Pegasus in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. If Leon wins this match. He will get an ICW United States title match against Spirits. So this is definitely going to be some dramatic changes and over-the-top <laughs> plays. But these two definitely got bad blood in real life. Let's see what happens when they go in the ring. This man really just showed up as soon as I said it. <laughs> What's going on, Leon? All right. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 169 pounds, the animal, Leon North Kennedy. Leon, a former ICW Cruiserweight Champion. He's definitely had some upcomings in this in this business, I don't know what I was trying to say, in this business, but he's definitely has some bad blood with people as well, just like this man here, his opponent, his a former ICW Cruiserweight Champion and current ICW United States Champion, the Galaxy's Resident Spirit Pegasus. Oh, and a from Calgary, Alberta, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 158 pounds, the Internet Wrestling United States Champion, the Phenomenal One. Spirit, definitely no stranger to competition. He's fought with the ICW Cruiserweight title against many superstars, even such as Leon. But then 
finally overcame his fear of fighting the biggest and baddest superstar, German Invader, defeating him for the ICW United States title. If Leon could win this matchup, he will go and get a title match against Spirit for the United States Championship. Oh. Ooh. Leon able to counter. Oh, the knees to the face. Oh. Definitely trying to use those crew. Definitely trying to use those high flying abilities, those Lucha Libre tactics. Oh. And I got the pin. One. Is he smacking you in the face? That's why you kicked out. The ref just hit you in the whole face. He said, what? You said, that hurt. <laughs> oh, Leon with a counter. And now Leon going for a submission. Trying to make sure Spirit stays grounded. That's the strategy against someone like Spirit. Oh, painful off, but a kick out. Ooh, clothesline. Ooh, is he trying to gain some momentum right now? Ooh, you might have. And a kick out of two. Oh, he was close. Leon able to find a way out. Oh, does he have it? The mic check by Leon. One, two, and a kick out at two. Oh, he was definitely trying to keep him grounded with a figure four. But, ooh, Spirit with a Harry Carolina. Oh, is he going to hit it? There it is, that signature shooting star. One, two, and a kick out at two. Leon is still in this match. Oh my god, they are going swing for swing against each other right now. And oh, a hair kill Rana. And a kick out at two. Is he going to hit it again? The shooting star for the second time. And Spirit picks up the win. Leon, I know what you were already gonna say. And to be honest with you, I did not expect this to happen. But you know what? I'll do you I'll do you a favor. I'll do you a favor just this once because I felt bad because the ref like slapped this out of you <laughs> in the middle of that fight. <laughs> so next week you will get your title match. Even though you lost, I'll give you I'll give you your title shot. Because I'll give you your title shot. Ah damn, I'm gonna be in the manager spot. I don't know if I can commentate this matchup. 
I knew you was gonna say rigged. That's why I was like, I'm gonna give you your title match next week anyway. I, it was a, it was a test to see if you might win. So I don't know. So yeah, next week you'll fight Spirit for the ICW United States title. Yeah, I saw that. The ref like literally slapped you <laughs> midway in. <laughs> he said one slapped you. You kicked out. He's like, what the? That was. That was funny, bro. All right, you'll get your you'll get your title match next week. All right, I'm a I'm probably gonna commentate anyway because I'm gonna be in the sideline, but it doesn't really matter. So, one on one, Phantom versus Josh. If Phantom can win this matchup, the villain arc, which includes me and my boy Phantom, will get tag team title matches. We'll get a title match for the tag team championships. If Josh wins, that means I'll have to face Josh one on one next week. over this commentary every time he has a match he doesn't even have a match he should be at the commentary booth but never mind it is your boy the one and only future Demarcus Johnson I'll be commentating for this one match for Phantom and Jet Rush I don't know why Sama think he can go out there flexing but I don't care no more you better be paying me extra for this commentary You like the purple on Phantom? Is what I'm trying to guess. And his opponent, accompanied by Quinn from New York, weighing in at 256 pounds. One half of the internet wrestling. What purple was you liking exactly? Champions, Josh. Oh yeah, that purple does look cold on me. I don't know why the change, but hey, the villain arc is starting to look a little fire. It looks like Phantom starting off strong. Diving crossbody. Ooh, try to go for that knee, but Josh able to duck out the way. Ooh, brings it down with authority. Knee to the face. Well, he's a tag team champion now. 
An elbow drop. Straight to the outside, where a commentator team is, where the backup commentator team is. Ooh, trying to go for a move, but he ended up missing this. Ooh, a counter by Fan. He sends him back on the inside. Sidewalk slam. Ooh. Looks like Thanos gonna go top rope. He's calling for Josh to stand up. Thanos trying to go for a move, but it ended up horribly missing. Ooh, punch after punch. Oh. Ooh. Throws him off to the side like a rag dog. They go Josh. They kick out at one. Knee to the face. Ooh, trying to go for a Ooh, Ooh and he got it. And a counter. I found him. Found him trying to go for a chop and he missed. Try to go for a move, but Phantom able to counter swiftly. Ooh, ooh, Josh ain't playing no games. Phantom able to counter. Oh, can Phantom get him? Lum bar check. Also known as the Night Rider. Ooh. To the darkness. Oh, counter at the counter. Ooh. Jay Summer with the lumber. What's good, my boy Damo? How you doing? Hope you having a lit Monday night. This ain't Jay Summer right now. This is Demarcus Johnson, the future himself. Hope you have another nice one, man. Ooh. The Phantom fight back. This ain't looking good. He might hit it. Oh, trying to go for that jackknife. But Phantom able to roll through. Kick out. Oh, another big boot. So furious. One. Two. And a kick out at two. Phantom's still alive. Sama is relieved with Joe right now. But, ooh. It looks like Josh may have another one in store. He might go for it. No. And a jackknife power bomb connects. One, two, and Josh picks up the one. means that Sama and Josh will have to go fight next week and whoever and if Jama can Sama could win the matchup he will earn his shot at tag team go Phantom put up a good fight but at what cost It was a good fight nonetheless. It was amazing. Sama cannot get upset. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the next matchup. This matchup, I'ma just have Sama tell you what about this match. Give him one second.
<clears throat> All right, I'm back, y'all. Sorry, it's your boy Jay Sama at it again. <laughs> What's going on, Damo? I saw you was in here. Got you fire. You fire, boy. I'm fire, boy. I'm like I'm flame. I'm lit up right now. <laughs> I'm joking. All right. <laughs> so this matchup, Chai was a former ICW champion. We all know what happened that infamous Monday night when him and Jester went one on one for the title. Two of the biggest stars going head to head for the biggest prize in the company and ended up losing because of the opponent that he's facing tonight. Anubis was trying to send his money in the bank, ended up distracting Chai, allowing Jester to win the championship. So Chai definitely has some frustrations to release and he's going to do it in the form of Anubis here tonight. This man, Chai, definitely letting everyone know he owns this place. This is his house. He ain't never giving this mug back up. Let's see if Chai's ready. And here comes his opponent. Mr. Cash in the case. Weighing in at 266 pounds. That briefcase, he can cash in on any world champion he wishes. He could cash in on ICW champion Jester, the new ICW champion, or he could cash in on the world heavyweight champion, Blue Troll, on Wednesday. But I guess he's been interested in getting the world championship off of Jester so we don't know what's gonna happen but he is happy to hold that briefcase proudly when the bell sound could whisper mm. all right Chai definitely looking frustrated at Anubis Anubis ready to defend his ground I hope ooh Noob is able to get a quick swing off. Ooh, backbreaker. Yeah. And oh, ooh. Ow. Ooh. Ooh, those quick punches. Ooh, Chai able to counter. He definitely was surprised off of those few attacks, but now he's letting the noobs know. That your luck is run out, kid. Oh, wait a minute. Anubis able to get out of a suplex into a German suplex from Chai. Oh, ooh, he's starting to show off that disrespect. Showing him that he is not a punk and he is going to defend his ground no matter what. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, he's attacking his soul. Goes for the pin, one, and a kick out at one. Ooh, that knee to the face. Jesus! And it's a rope break, but Anubis is showing Chai that he is not messing around. Ooh, Chai able to get off, off his feet. And now it's throwing those quick, rapid flurry to punches. Ooh. And now 
going for a submission maneuver. Can he lock him in? He's got him in that camel clutch, but pulled him on the face. But he was able to find his way out. Ooh, wait a minute. It's Jester. It's the champion. Jester said he has some unfinished business with Chai. He's not done. Oh, Anubis going for the roll up. But Chai able to push him off. And oh. Ooh. Oh, Chai able to counter. Not just so returning the favor after last week. Ooh. 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 And a Superman punch. And Anubis able to find a way out countered. And oh, oh, trying to go for the end of days, it's countered. Jesus. And there goes Chai. Chai's got that guillotine locked in. And oh, Anubis, Anubis finding that power. Ooh. And Lucas with a counter. And a backbreaker. He's got him in that vicious head crank. Ooh. Ooh, stuff on the arm. And now Lucas being on top of oh. An elbow drop. He got him in that pin. One, two, and a kick on that two. And ooh, end of days. One, two. Oh, it was close. Anubis could have pulled off the upset of the century. And oh, wait a minute. Can he get him? Oh, Chai able to counter him. Superman punch. One, two, and Chai picks up the win. He knew that Anubis could fight, but he definitely didn't know he was going to have a huge problem on his hands. Here is your winner, Charmy. I'm guessing the fight between Chai and Jester isn't over yet. But Chai able to pick up the win and able to relieve his frustration off of Anubis, costing him his championship. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it. This is the main event of the night, a fatal four-way tables match. This is a number one contender matchup to see who will Jester challenge next for the ICW championship. Will it be Mr. No Face, Blank Face? Will it be former ICW champion and Twitch champion and King of the Ring ace, former ICW World Heavyweight Champion, Drew, or former ICW Champion, former ICW World Heavyweight Champion, former ICW Tag Team Champion, The Demon, Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a ton of champions here on this list. And one of them can easily get an opportunity, but they will have to fight hard. They will have to put themselves through immense pain. One of these men will get that opportunity of a lifetime to take on Jester for the championship. We have seen Jester fight two of these men before, but Jester has never fought Ace or Ray. So who will be the winner? Who knows?
But overall, I'm just excited to see what the outcome will be. And here he is, Mr. King of the Ring. He holds that title proudly. And no one can take that championship off of him. The following contest is a fatal four-way tables match. Making his way to the ring from Richmond, Virginia. Weighing in at 178 pounds, the men's prestigious world champion, the legend, Ace. Ace had to go through a very tough King of the Ring tournament in order to earn the right to be called King of the Ring. The second King of the Ring for ICW, first one being Blank's face, a man in this competition as well. So we'll definitely see what happens here tonight when all of these men will go head to head. Former ICW World Heavyweight Champion, this man here is no stranger to gold. And his opponents, first from New York, weighing in at 275 pounds, Super Smooth Drew. Drew, definitely a man who has found his way to the top. I think he's one of the. Sh I think he had one of the shortest links to win the championship during his career. He's going to show the world he is ready to take on Jester for that championship. We'll see what happens if he can win it. There is a lot of accolades beyond this man. King of the Ring. The only one Battle Royal winner at number 30. Former ICW World Heavyweight champion, former million dollar champion, former cruiserweight champion, the most titles won by anyone and in this business. From New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, the superstar. Blank is an OG, an original gangster that knows that he is one of the best. Best at technical ability, best at superior strength. There is nothing more than what Blank can do. He's already got a Hall of Fame worthy career on his belt. I know he's starting off small here in season two, but he's ready to change all of that around if he can win this match the leader of No Face Nation as he takes a stand. He's telling his fans, take that face off. Become blank with me. Definitely terrifying, no doubt, 
But his this last opponent, this man here, has definitely been on the rise. Former tag team champion, former ICW champion, former ICW world heavyweight champion. This man has defended the title so many times. It is beyond comparison to what he can do. He is a beast in the ring. He is a monster outside the ring. He is the most dangerous man to anyone. He has that persona and he will stick to it no matter what. Here is the demon. And from New York, weighing in at 170 pounds, Tima Ray. Ray has definitely been one of those superstars that has came up for no reason but he will show you and prove to you all that he belongs in the top spot once again no matter his situation separated from his partner DJ DJ went on his own to win matches but Ray went on his own to win championships and he is not stopping anytime soon Do it with them, y'all. He is a totally different being. Something we have never seen before. All four men have one shot and all four of them are going to fight for it. The ICW Championship is on the line to see which one is going to fight Jester for it. Ooh, looks like the Lincoln Ray definitely starting to take things off a notch. The only way to win this matchup is by literally placing your opponent through a table. So whoever can get lucky enough to put their opponent through it is definitely going to be the man to win. I guess Ray using a high flying technicality. And then Ace, oof. I think he's one of the better technical wrestler than Blank, but Blank no stranger to combat. He trying to go for that high risk that breaker, but Ray, the only man to ever counter that. But I know all your moves, I know all your secrets. There's nothing you have against me. Except superior strength. Ace definitely outside the ring now. 
And Drew just rolled outside the ring and is now blinking Ray. The only two left inside of that. Ooh. Oh, okay, you have a great night. Is he really trying to go for a submission in a tables match? Oof. I get weakening in the area. Come on, man. Nope. Oh, looks like Ace wasn't the only person who had in mind to get a table. Did he just hit Ray with the table? He hit Ray with the table. Yeah. Oh, he just hit a famous one. Ooh, he took the face off on Ace. Gonna set up the table. Table already half cracked. Ooh, it looks like Bangles about to go through that table. Ooh, the pale kick. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Does Ray have it? Does Ray have it? Ray just put Drew to the table. Ray will have a championship match against Justin. Here is your winner, Team Ray. One of the men have to came out a very Brave Warrior and Ray, definitely no stranger to competition whatsoever. And he was able to get himself that dub. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was it for Monday Night Turmoil. Y'all already know I'll be setting up matches beforehand, and I'm definitely going to let you guys know about the announcements for Wednesday Night Insanity. But overall, this was a good show, you guys. I really do appreciate each and every single one of y'all for stopping by. Y'all already know that y'all are my MVPs. Y'all some real ones, man. Y'all want some weird ones, but all right. But y'all already know the fun does never stop here. No, sir. We are about to hit out with a raid. And this time, I have somebody new to raid this time. I don't know who's Pokemon lovers, but if y'all have some Pokemon lovers, then we about to go raid someone who is playing right now, Sword and Shield. So if you guys never heard of Dara Bobera, it's a, it's a good time to meet somebody new, you know? <laughs> so... You guys already know, I already don't like saying goodbyes and stuff like that, but if you guys have fun, I'm, I'm glad y'all was able to stick around and watch my matches, even though most of the time I'll never be on cue with my energy, but I'm glad y'all stuck around. I appreciate you still going out, but with that being said, Sama Gang out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See y'all later.